and welcome to another installment of Liberty Nation Swamponomics Videocast. I'm Andrew Moran, Ellen's Economics Correspondent. Each week, I dive into the Morris of top economic news stories and fish out compelling narratives or I retrieve fallacies that have been accepted as conventional wisdom by the swamp creatures for years. This week is short selling an iniquitous practice on Wall Street. In the aftermath of the GameStop saga, there's been a lot of debate over the merits of shorting the market. When hedge funds started crying on television, some of the talking heads on the side of Reddit's Wall Street Bets page triumphantly decried their shorting ways, arguing that their tactics devastated companies over the years. Even at the height of the market meltdown in March 2020, there had been talk of suspending the act of short selling. South Korea imposed a law against shorts, extending it until May of this year. This has allowed the benchmark Kospi Composite Index to rally 39% over the last 12 months. Some analysts say that speculative short selling should be removed from the cryptocurrency markets. France, Italy and Spain issued one-day suspensions of betting against selected companies. First, it is important to understand what shorting is. It essentially means you are betting that the stock will go down. You borrow shares from a brokerage firm and sell them immediately speculating that you can buy them back later at a lower price. If your forecast is right, their shares are purchased at a lower price, return to the brokerage, and you keep the difference, minus the fees of course. This is what the hedge funds attempted to do with GameStop, AMC, and several other of the so-called meme stocks that were pumped by the form turned decentralized hedge fund. With enough firepower shorting, a stock could be decimated into oblivion, becoming a penny stock. At the same time, shorts can spotlight fraud, waste, inefficiency, and something odious within the company. Luckin Coffee is a good example of this. The embattled Chinese coffee company had been shorted by Muddy Waters Research, which shorted the stock after it described Luckin as a quote, fundamentally broken business, proving that the short sellers have a knack for discovering shaky business models. It tweeted in January 2020, that the number of items per store per day was inflated by at least 69% in 2019 and 88% in 2019 of the fourth quarter. GameStop short made sense. The business model was failing, the coronavirus pandemic hurt its retail stores, and the customers despise the company's policies. But if it weren't for those rascals on Reddit, Wall Street would have been successful. And of course, the shorts get it wrong at the same time. Tesla Motors is a great example of this too. The shorts had bet against Elon Musk's auto company, but the stock continued to go up. Musk was proud of this accomplishment, so much so that he started selling short shorts for a premium price. ETFs, high frequency traders, speculators, short sellers. There's always somebody to blame when the market is down. Until the GameStop chaos, we refrain from accusing financial talk show hosts of pumping up stocks with false positive rumors and generous analyses. We never complain about the Federal Reserve System distorting markets and producing moral hazards by injecting trillions of dollars into the market to lift after asset prices over a period of time. We only need to find the evildoers when things go bad. Unfortunately, we live in a time when misery must be equitable. Bull runs are an entitlement, and being smart is a sin. If one person suffers, then so must everyone else. You cannot profit in an environment where there is widespread distress and a greedy Gretchen lost 30% in one day. Long live the shorts. That's it for me this week. Please read my full Swamponomics column, where I discuss the results of the US-China Phase 1 trade agreement from last year, Trevor Bauer and his $105 million deal with the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the United Kingdom's disastrous 2020 GDP. Thank you. Go deeper on the topic discussed in this video, head on over to one of these links here or go to our Liberty Nation Roku channel. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Liberty.